Hello, I'm Annabelle. Hello there, my name's Rob and we work at Confection Perfection. Today we're going to show you a range of ideas on how to bake and decorate cakes. We've got 250 grams of soft butter, 150 grams of caster sugar, 300 grams of self-raising flour, four eggs, one tin of condensed milk, 100 millilitres of milk, a shot of spiced rum and half a nutmeg. Firstly, we're going to put our butter and our caster sugar into the mixing bowl. And then on a slow speed on the mixer using our K-beater. Whilst that's starting to incorporate, we're going to add our eggs one at a time. Adding the eggs one at a time nice and slowly to make sure that the, the butter and sugar mix doesn't split. And while the eggs are incorporating, we can sieve our flour. When I'm sieving flour, I like to use a drum sieve on top of a piece of greaseproof paper. That keeps our area nice and clean and tidy and also it's ease of use of getting the flour into the mixing bowl itself. I'm going to add half a nutmeg to the top of our flour. Okay, now our eggs are incorporated into our butter and sugar mix. I'm going to take it off the machine, making sure we scrape all of our ingredients off the beater attachment. And then we're going to add our flour and nutmeg. As you can see, it's nice and easy to pick up. And then we're going to gently fold through the flour into our sugar, butter and egg mix. Using nice large movements, scraping around the edge of the bowl and then cutting through the mix itself. And when the, all the flour is incorporated, we can add a tin of condensed milk, fold that through and then we'll add our milk. It's actually easier when you're adding liquids into a cake batter mix if you do them separately a bit at a time. If you do too much at once, it's very difficult to get the liquid to incorporate into the batter itself and then we'll add our shot of spiced rum. Here I've got two nine inch sandwich tins that I've already lined with greaseproof paper around the sides and at the bottom. I'm going to pour our cake batter mix in, splitting it into two halves. And then these are going to go in the oven at 160 degrees centigrade for about 25 minutes. You'll know when they're cooked because they'll feel firm and springy to the touch and also a knife or a cocktail stick will come out clean when inserted. Scrape down the sides and then I'm going to pop this into my piping bag. Again, you don't have to use a piping bag if you don't want to. I'm just going to snip off the end, making sure that we get rid of a bit of plastic. I'm going to take our first layer of sponge, make sure that the piece of greaseproof paper is off. And then I'm going to sandwich some of the spice rum buttercream in the middle. And then take our second layer, okay, making sure that the greaseproof paper's off. Sandwich the two together. And then we can just pipe a nice little design on the top. And then a little bit of grated nutmeg. And that is how you make eggnog cake. <laughs>